Spencer, we've known each other for a while. We've been friends for a while, and and that allows me to know that you know the Toronto sports scene as well as anybody in this city. How much did that championship last year mean to the city of Toronto? Well, Ryan, first of all, it's good to see you. Thanks for dressing up for me for once. <laughs> um, and secondly, I've been fortunate enough to be in this city my whole life, essentially, and I was here for the 92 and 93 back-to-back -back World Series championships for the Toronto Blue Jays and during that time the city went off but you can imagine since then because it's been 27 years technology has advanced we have so many more platforms as far as social media is concerned Instagram Facebook Twitter something else I'm forgetting snapchat and everything like that so the excitement around this specific championship and because it was the first one ever outside of the United States period the excitement is still here in some respects you know it's amazing too because this team loses its star player from last year and Kawhi Leonard and you're thinking well they may take a serious step back but here they are I know they've struggled a little lately but overall they've had a terrific start to the season how is this team continued to win well if I can paraphrase from one of Brooklyn's own most uh, biggest philosophers see what I did there and I'm gonna say you know Super Nintendo Sega Genesis when the Raptors were in their infancy they couldn't picture this and even with Kawhi gone it has allowed this team to galvanize together the youngsters to galvanize together and with Kyle Lowry and Serge Ibaka going out early in the season uh, on the same game as a matter of fact it allowed coach Nick Nurse to see what he had as far as depth and you really have to give it up to their scouting department and things like that for finding players like Terrence Day Davis and uh, Chris Boucher who is a Canadian and they go undrafted and yet they are performing tremendously tremendously well so now that the team is back together almost at full strength Nick Nurse can go into every game knowing what he has with these players because they were so battle tested early on in the season and we also know Pascal Siakam has continued to take strides I mean he, he's become a star in this league what have you seen from him in his journey first and foremost the most impressive thing to me about Pascal Siakam is ladies and gentlemen Pascal Siakam has been playing the game of organized basketball for eight years only yes that's right Ryan I said eight years normally I know you can't count that high which makes it that much more unbelievable and the sky really is the limit with this kid his talent is so raw and he's made so many strides within his first few years with the big club but having said that I want to make a huge caveat by saying the pressure on this kid right now is ridiculous because they want him to be the new Kawhi and I wouldn't want to put that pressure on anybody. All right, Spencer, terrific analysis as always. What else do you have going on right now in your world? We know you're a motivational speaker, an actor, an ambassador to the Toronto sports scene. What kind of projects you got going on? Well, you mean other than classing up this pregame show for life? Other than that. Yes. Uh, you know, I, uh, I try and keep myself as busy as possible, trying to impact people in a positive way with whatever medium it is that I do, whether it's my motivational speaking, my acting, the sports stuff. Uh, so I'm never not busy and I like to keep myself moving that's why this chair has it all has a lot of mileage on it <laughs> great stuff as always Spencer thank you for your insight for your spirit and happy holidays my friend happy holidays to you too and Bob you know that you're much better looking than him and on that note we'll throw it back to you